What's up, chat? It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? The light switch is all the way over there. I don't want to go all the way over oh, there. Oh, this is such a pain. Hmm. But what if... The Sega Saturn, often touted as Sega's most failed console, I believe. This is mine from a very long time ago. Video CD card, Virtua Gun. The sixth accessory is the Sega Saturn itself. Yes, I've had this for a very long time. And the reason I chose this for this project in particular is that I never use the thing. It's just sat in a box, this box that you're looking at. 3D Farligaten and a Unidad Centra do Prosecco. This is the PAL version, made in Indonesia. I, 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 have I booted this up ever? Maybe, maybe to play some Sega Rally? I don't know. But let's unbox it and uh, see what we're working with. Let's hope it works anyway. So this is what it comes like brand new. That's a joke, it doesn't. Oh, there's the controller. I completely forgot it had media playing buttons on it, so it doesn't have L and R, it has fast forward and rewind. Uh, it's a bit, it's got some cobwebs on it. Oh, the cables. Oh, the cables. Massive chunky controller port adapter thing. Ah, that was something I was curious about. Whether or not it had a scarp block or the independent yellow, white and red. You've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title of the video. My plan as it will develop will involve the use of getting the audio out of this. So we may need to see if we can do that. Uh, the plug is there as well, just in this mess. And there is the Sega Saturn. Oh. I thought that was broken then, but no, that's uh, that, that's how little I've used the thing. No, that's just a window into seeing what's in the disk drive. Oh, oh we do have the manual. I believe I bought this for about £20 many years ago. I don't know if they appreciated in value or not. I don't even know if this works. I hope it does. I don't know. Yes, it's the PAL version with many languages, with every language on each page. So if you're learning a different language, uh, yeah. Controllers avanzados. Oh, backup functions and system settings. I can read that one. Oh yeah, this is probably available online already. Here's the hardware information. But this type of project is just a way for me to experiment with the Sega Saturn. And what we're going to be doing is learning to program with it. And the program we're going to be using for it is Joe. Engine. And then, once the programming is done, I have one of these. It's a cardboard box, but inside the box is a Saru flash cart. Now this promises to be able to load games from the Sega Saturn library directly through the cartridge input at the back, like that. It looks very pretty, but not only can it load games, hopefully it'll be able to launch the homebrew that I make. All right, first things first, we need to get programming. So. So the easiest way to make a project a reality is to break it into smaller chunks. So, what do I want? I want the Sega Saturn to run a custom program. I want the user to be able to use that program to interface with a smart home controller. And I want the smart home controller to control devices in my home. As mentioned previously, I have programmed for the Sega Saturn using the Joe Engine. Joe Engine has proven invaluable in the creation of this project. It allows anyone to easily interface with the Sega Saturn and create working code in a familiar language, C. It's the easiest solution I've found. There are SD is available etc but the work done by Johannes Betts sorry if I pronounced that wrong is pretty awesome it does take a little struggle at first maybe to get into to know the right libraries and notations etc to include but put simply if you want to program something for the Sega Saturn the Joe engine is a fine piece of work Joe engine came with some samples and the first thing I did was edit one of these samples changing the background replacing the texture file and this is Bonic it worked I figured the easiest way to connect with a smart home controller would be with audio that way I could just split the connection from the Sega Saturn using composite cables with audio going to the controller and visuals going to the TV. So, using Cursor, a newish and very advanced AI integrated IDE, I implemented some simple code that would just play audio when a button was pressed, even using some of its default sample sounds and graphics, and then a menu, and continual slow refinement of the menus, better graphics, and UI all designed by myself. Cursor really helped me make this program a reality. 
Alexa L1 Alexa P on Alexa Rad on Alexa play 80s Alexa stop and it works on emulator all right so the software's done now it's time for the hardware so my first plan was to take an Alexa take it apart and then find one of the microphones splice an AV cable and wire it into one of those but we don't need to do that I've had this in my arsenal for a while and I've done some research. Apparently I can hook into the Alexa API and use this as an Alexa. This is a public service announcement. The internet is wrong. It used to be the case that you could create your own mini Alexa device and the internet is filled with such guides. Also, if you ask an AI how to do it, choose one, it will give you false information. Amazon have shut down the AVS service. So if you're thinking of creating your own little smart home device, don't use Alexa, even though my house is already Alexa enabled. Use something like this free open source software, which you can hook into Alexa if you pay $7.50 a month, which I'm not going to pay. Unfortunately, I spent a lot of time and a not insignificant amount of money buying parts in order to make this work with the Raspberry Pi, following old guides that you can find online. Anyway, it doesn't matter, let's go back to the video. So, given what we know now, I wish I didn't throw this for comedic effect. Anyway, I'm going to try, because that's all you can do, right? Luckily, because I've already searched out how to do this, these are the microphones, and these are what I'm going to be hooking into slash taking over. So I'm going to take one of these off and see what I can get to underneath. Gives me a chance to test one of my new toys. I found this in Lidl's for £15. It's a gas-powered soldering iron that also doubles as a flamethrower and a hot air workstation kind of thing. I like my pine sill, you know, it's really nice. But this is true wireless freedom, I suppose. Tweezers, pleasers. Let's see if we can get one of these microphones off then. I wish I didn't do the whistling noise. Now this is a shockingly hot air gun. Come on, it's an SMC, you can get that off. You can't, can you? No. Oh well. Break up the big boys. There we go. My confusion at the moment is that my research shows that these microphones have five connections. But I don't see five connections. I see three, potentially. Let's do some research. Ah, nah, <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, basically, so I've confirmed that this is ground, which is the ring. Now I'm going to measure the voltages from this pin to ground uh, when powered on and this pin to ground when powered on. Because the way MEMS microphones work, they have two signals and they basically cancel each other out when you're speaking. This is from what I understand. So when you're speaking, it can differentiate between your voice and background noise and stuff. They are highly compact and complex microphones. <sighs> 3.2 volts, so that's good. And that one doesn't do anything. Alright, lovely. I have no idea how that speaker works in the bottom because it's not connected to anything. It has two pads there, but they don't appear to be connected to anything here either. So I don't know how it works. I am going to put some DuPont females in so I can just plug straight in. Let's see if I can find my females here. Yeah. We'll go black and white, keep it nice. So I can ignore the VCC, the power, which is the right pin because the right pin just provides power to the, can you even see that on the camera? the MEMS microphone. I keep these attached for some reason. I'm attached to be recycled together like uh, a small amount, not too much. That'll do. And a small amount here, not too much. No, a bit more than that. That's a bit too much. It'll do. The problem with this soldering iron is when I push down on this to insert it into the hole there, it's pushing that down first before connection can be made there. 
So, and then you're holding it like this, and the gas is going down and freezing my hand. Soldering tray, soldering tray. Come here, please, my soldering tray. Ah, uh, flux. Flux on the wires. Lovely. And then black up here, please. Give me more room. Don't want to show off or anything. Straight in, not touching anything else. Just lovely, that. I have to build some kind of circuit now because the signal that comes out of the line output is a different voltage compared to what that's expecting. I then soldered male jumper wires to one of the RCA cables instead of splitting it and making things difficult. That is not the prettiest. Ignore this, it's got a bit of solder in it, you don't even know that. Alright, the way breadboard work, they're all connected. I'm going to separate these because they don't need to be together right now. You are now center pin and you are now ground pin. Now this is basically testing to make sure that what I'm doing is working first. It should allow for some voltage security. That's nice. Right. And then I need to come from ground into that ground there. And that should be it. Should be. We don't know. So this is a traditional scarf block, yellow, white and red. I'm just going to put video in, but if you did want to have some kind of feedback, you could also put white in. And also, if you wanted it to play music through the TV as well, you could potentially route the audio out from the box. It's not what I'm going to do because i got these Alexas all around my house. I'm just going to put the yellow in. Well, first I'm going to put this at the back of the TV because scarf blocks are notoriously difficult. Even when I can see her, I don't even know how to get in. Yellow is the far side. So that's working. Now I need this to be plugged in. That's lit up, so that's good. Let's see if I can get this a better angle, yeah. Let's remember now, make sure that wiring's right, yeah. White is signal, black is ground. My cables have come undone in the process. So that's lovely. I really should replace that CRT battery. I'm not going to, but I should. I have to go to the drawing board for this because it doesn't seem to be working. The outer ring is ground. You know, just going straight in there. I don't care. It did it! It did it! This, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't need this. Although it's probably wise to have some kind of voltage protection in place. Lights off. Lights on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> does the music as well. <laughs> nice. I think I'm going to call that a success. <laughs> uh, full bill whatever and be on bl3i.com. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, should we see what the weather's like today? It's 8 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same, with a high of 9 degrees and a low of 3 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Yes! And this is my plan originally, to just hook into the onboard microphones. Ignore what the internet says about the Raspberry Pi. It doesn't exist anymore, you can't do that anymore. Just get one of these, they're about a tenner. Get the microphone out and bush into it. It would be nice to reassemble it. Such a twisty turny video this. I want to make this look pretty. 
I want to make this look pretty before we uh, before we call the video done. There you go through there. So look at that. And you go back on that. And if you did want the sound relayed from this to the TV, it does have a speaker out, which goes into obviously the red and white RCA. But why they don't give you microphone inputs on these uh, or any options for them at all, I don't know. I guess now I just gotta clean this mess up again. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. But wait, there's more.